Hi everyone, uh, Jeff and Megan here from Room to Spare Tiny House, and we are here today with an unboxing video of the Heatworks Model 1 tankless water heater. We chose this unit for a couple of reasons. Number one, it uses a really interesting technology that um, where the, the electrodes only heat the water, so there's no heating element inside this unit at all. So the only thing that actually gets, uh, gets heated is the water itself. It is essentially on demand. So in that sense, it will be hopefully very, very efficient. Um, so it's only heating water when you need hot water, like a lot of tankless water heaters. But again, because there's no heating element, there's no expansion and contraction of that element, which leads to um, it, a lot of times in, tank, in water heaters with tanks and or heating elements, that element starts to, to corrode and decay over time. So we liked it for that. We also liked it because uh, it's one of the first, it, they claim the world's first fully electronic water heater. And what that means is, there's a, there's a board inside this unit, which we'll hopefully see in just a minute, um, that, you can allow, that you can set the range of this unit. So it will run, according to the specs here on the front, see one of the nice things is, is it talks about the operating ranges. It'll run anywhere from 100 volts AC to 277 volts AC, and anywhere between 15 and 48 amps. Um, because we're in a tiny house and we think the only place that we're gonna need hot water is gonna be in the shower and the two little tiny sinks that we have, um, we're actually hoping that we can really operate on the lower end of this thing, um, which would be great because that'll uh, really increase our efficiency. One of the other things listed on here is uh, that it includes the Model 1 water heater, the mounting hardware, and a shower head, which is kind of cool. We weren't expecting that, so that's a nice bonus. We did do a little research after we saw this, and it apparently is a low-flow shower head, so that'll, that'll hopefully help with our water consumption as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. Everybody. Okay, so right up the top here, you see inside there is the mounting hardware. Here's the shower head. Ooh, shiny. Actually, not too bad looking. We were a little worried when it said it included a, when it included the shower head that it was going to be you know some sort of uh, two dollar ninety nine cent shower head that you get from Walgreens, but it actually looks. Looks pretty nice. Um, it says Niagara Power Shower on it. I have to look up and see who Niagara Power Shower is after this. So there's our shower head, which is nice that it includes that because we had spec'd a low flow shower head that we really liked, um, but at least in the meantime, we don't need to buy a shower head because one comes with it. So then again, here is the mounting hardware. It really is just two metal brackets. You can see that? And some zip ties. So hopefully that makes installation really, really easy. Of course, a sticker. So we can put that on the outside of our house. Look like a NASCAR sponsor. Installation and user manual. So this is kind of nice. It's a nice Well-produced glossy brochure. So there you can see what the unit looks like right there You can see it really just has um, Power in and out it doesn't get much simpler than that uh, They walk through here different applications. There are a few different ways that you can use the heatworks model one depending on what you need um, and they market these not just obviously for tiny house people. In fact, uh, as far as we know, we're one of the first ones to purchase a Heatworks Model 1. But they talk about how you can use them in your full-size house as like a booster for your existing, or you can use them in place of an existing, or you can use multiple ones so that you have uh, better access to on-demand hot water in various different areas of your house. Um, so obviously I think the big market for these is in real houses where you might need more than one. Um, so they talk to go through the various different configurations you can use it in. Um, here again are more details on the specs. And we'll link to the Heatworks website as well too so you guys can actually see a little bit more of the actual specs and the technology behind it as well. Um, so there we go, like we said before. Uh, 
Here's your power end, your power end, there's your control end, there's your water in and your water out. Doesn't get a whole lot sim simpler than that. Again, it just talks more about how to install the unit. Here's where they talk about how to set the, uh, the various settings for your power draw. Set that on there. Troubleshooting. Fairly basic installation manual. It looks pretty simple, so we're excited to uh, excited to give it a try. All right, the moment we've been waiting for: the actual unit itself. Here it is. It's the whole unit right here. We'll go ahead and take it out of the bag. I'm totally one of those people, by the way, that like when you take the little plastic off your brand new remote and stuff, that's kind of a religious moment. So I hope you guys appreciate what we're doing for you guys here. So here's the whole unit. Um, it's not very heavy. I'd say it's probably about, um, it's in about the 12 pound range, I would say. Um, it's not very big, uh, you know, you can see here the whole size of it. So here's the, um, and again, I'll give it close to you guys, Hang on, if you can see down there. So again, there's the, uh, there's the operating ranges and everything that we talked about before. So that's nice that they have that on there. Um, and you know what I didn't think to bring is a screwdriver. So uh, we're going to take a quick break. I'm going to grab a screwdriver because then I can open up the ends and show you guys the different, the uh, control and the power ends of this. So again, there's a, there's a power end to this unit, and then there's a, uh, there's a control end, and both give you access to, um, this one is for, I believe, is where you're, we're gonna set the settings for the unit, and then this one here is where you actually make the power connection. So we'll go ahead and we'll open this real quick first. And we'll do an installation video as well, too, when we're getting this installed. It is worth noting that the instructions do say that the unit must be installed by a licensed and qualified electrician. Um, so, you know, make sure you've got uh, either somebody who has uh, on standby who can do that for you, or if you have that ability yourself, that's great. But they do tell you that it needs to be installed by a licensed and qualified electrician. Um, standard disclaimers, you know, if you do this wrong, you can be, you know, electrocuted or any of that sort of thing. So, just please be careful as you guys are installing your units. That was pretty easy, so it's just a piece of plastic on the end there. Pretty standard fittings right there. So you can see it's just a, it's just got three screw lugs on the bottom. Okay. So you can see there's a L1G and L2. So you've got a hot and neutral on the ground. Standard electricity. Um, moving back towards the uh, back side of the unit. So out here, see there's a red cap that says outlet and it says top. So this is where the water is going to come out. And then on the bottom side. It says inlet slash bottom. And uh, these should be, if I recall, these should be just standard half inch uh, PVC fittings, or three quarter, I believe, uh, PVC fittings. So those fittings will fit that. And again, we'll do, a, we'll do an actual installation video when we install the unit in the tiny house. I'm gonna put this lid back on before I turn it over to do the other side. Okay, flipping it over to do the control end. Same thing, four screws. See there's a little LCD display over here, okay? There's a readout on that that'll tell you, uh, I believe it'll tell you, um, I think it tells you the temperature setting that you're at. I have to double check that though. If I'm wrong, right here is where you're gonna see an annotation on top of the video that says I was wrong. Again, four screws, pretty easy. These covers just lift right out. So, there's our magic electronic end right there. So in here, there we go. So this is the brains of the whole operation right here. This is where they, uh, this, is, this is their, their technology that they, they say makes this unit different from all other water heaters. Um, here's where you can actually set your amperage. Uh, my understanding from the literature that we've read is, is that in terms of voltage, it is auto-sensing. 
So it will take whatever volt, it will auto adjust to whatever voltage is coming into it and you can set your, your amperage settings right there. The rest of this stuff here, uh, these two buttons, I'm not sure what they do. Everything else is uh, not user serviceable. So that's pretty much it. This is pretty much the whole unit right here. So I'm pretty excited about it. It feels like a pretty quality item. It's very, it feels very solidly built, solidly put together. Um, the screws came in and out very easily, no, no fighting with it. I'll put this back on here. By the way, you guys, if you don't have a ratcheting screwdriver, get one. This is actually Megan's. What I did before I met her, I don't know. She taught me the merits of the ratcheting screwdriver. And now I'm a convert. So there you guys have it. The Heatworks Model 1 tankless water heater. Um, probably in, get this installed sometime in the next couple of months. Uh, it'd be a little while before I think we actually have the ability to test it. Uh, but once we do get this thing installed, we'll be sure to give you guys a full report. Thanks very much and uh, have a great time.